Hi guys and uh, welcome back to another edition of Pro High Truck TV and again we're out and about um, and every week I say we're looking at something special. This is truly special um, and something very different. Something that I've been involved with with the team at Pro Green and Pro Hire for a, for a, for a, a long time now, maybe even a, a, probably a year or so. And with the amazing team at DAF at the factory in Chorley. We've involved a number of people including um, Carrier Refrigeration, you know, clearly one of the, the largest and most professional uh, refrigeration outfits in the world today. And Graham Adams, one of the biggest bodybuilders in, in the UK. To create what we have here. And you might turn around and go, well, what the hell is this? I've seen a refrigerated vehicle before. And you will have done. Of course you will have done. But have you seen one quite like this? And I don't think you will have done. So let's have a quick look at what we've got. You make your own mind. So on the face of it, we've got an LF. It's a DAF. It's a BEV. If you look at one of our videos some time ago, we did a dry freight uh, BEV model, which, you know, to a certain degree, went down really well, and we've had a lot of communication on the back of that, and many communicate and many conversations into our program pro business going forward from that. Now, the specifications are the same, you know, 285 kilowatt batteries, uh, giving you an amazing range to work your day to day work with and, and, and see how we go. Um, We've got a refrigeration unit which is electric. Yes, not a diesel, an electric refrigeration unit which is powered from the powertrain. So what I want to do with this is actually do some road, road tests and trials and we'll be able to come back to you with exactly the mileages so we know what we could get on a dry freight and we've done the test and the mileage is stacked up. So with a refrigeration unit on it connected to the powertrain, you know, we're looking at 180 miles to 170 to 180 kilometers, which is pretty decent for any electric vehicle, especially one of this size. I mean, I drive an electric car, which I'd be very pleased, you know, to get, you know, that kind of mileage out with the weight, you know? So, we look at here, an electric fridge unit, zero emission. Electric vehicle, zero emission. Round town work, mileage, no problem. It's a 19 ton truck, so what it's doing is giving you the payload you'd expect to see on a diesel vehicle. So, with diminishing load taken into account, eight tons. Again, no drawback, you know, I mean, really is amazing. So, on the back of here, we've got a maple security system, which uh, we push the button, and what we'll be able to do there is get ourselves in here, hopefully, you know, um, in short order, yeah, so. A bit like a safe in a hotel, it says unlock. And so, and we really brought Albi along for the ride as well. But inside, you can see it's a digital refrigeration box. Of course, it is very straight to put out and evaporated in the centre. And it's going to a particular, particular job, which uh, has a lot of time and effort has gone into design this particular agreement. Impact beams really is quite a special vehicle. It is, you know, Again, for a, a, a choice of tail lift for, for, for Pro Hire with the Landia. Again, some of the equipment here is, is, is state of the art, but really is high quality equipment as well. I suppose, to a certain degree, as you move around this vehicle, you can start to see where the difference is coming. So, we're starting here with the batteries 285 kilowatt power pack. Really is um, right at the, the high end of. 18 ton power pack choices when you start to look at the other manufacturers out there they're normally around 225 at truck this size so it's really well pushed out on that space and, and i have to say um again real real quality here we're looking at ac and dc charging so we're able to do type 2 charging which is again as always we like to try and do some 22 kilowatt charging it balances the batteries out over a period we're quite capable of charging here at some very high capabilities up to 150 kilowatts of reading is quite, 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 quite special. Refrigeration unit, reasonably simple. Again, back to basics, it's plug in. It's electric, so it'll take electric from the vehicle, it'll take electric from your wall. And as always, plugging it in is a real benefit to the batteries and the range that you're trying to achieve. Again, looking round at it, camera systems galore, 
special equipment on it galore. What a, what a, what a wonderful piece of equipment. I suppose the only thing I've not mentioned at the moment is the eye-watering price. And a vehicle like this right now is going to cost you more than £400,000. You know, so it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very serious piece of equipment for very serious operators. But equally so, it's completely zero emission. Let's have a look inside. Here we go. <coughs> here and have a, a look at what we've got yeah. I think when we were looking at this the last time you know I said this is just like a normal truck and, and why wouldn't it want to be and I think that for me is still a, a really important part of integration from diesel vehicles into into electric vehicles where it's only going to be challenging enough for, for the drivers and the operators to to take something which is conceptually very different to where they currently are today and move into a, a whole new world. Keeping the vehicle as close to anything they're normally used to is clearly important and I think that for me is is, is, is what DAF have done in spades here. Uh, there are quite a number of, of, of um, guys coming into the marketplace which are developing space age, fantastic looking equipment. I suppose to a certain degree that's got its place too. But from main operating haulier who wants to bring something like this into their into their um, the day to day fleet, it has to fit in well, and this fits in really well. Well, all the way forward are the key, and for those who like hearing the the, the the roar of a diesel, disappointing, I don't want to disappoint you. We'll turn on the fridge unit, which is now on, and we're showing a compartment at. Uh, seven degrees we're actually showing the department at the compartment at 16 degrees because this is going to be in a, a pharmaceutical setting but let's let's just see if we can um bring that temperature down slightly so we'll we'll put this back but just give you a feel for what can be done because the unit at the moment is looking to heat and this unit's got a great ability to heat so the carrier massively control their temperatures you know a lot of fridge companies all like that we want chill we want frozen it's important that we understand what temperature control is all about. It really means temperature control. So it's plus 25, minus 25, and everything in between. Carrier are just experts in that space. So let's let's put it into drive and let's give this a quick look and see how we go on. And off we go. So, you know, I still can't get over the fact that we're driving, and I've been doing um, vehicles and refrigerated vehicles for more than 35 years and to be able to drive a zero emission vehicle has been brilliant for the last few years and I've been driving electric vehicles for a long time now to be able to drive an electric vehicle at 19 tons that's got a, a range of 270 kilometers so fantastic into the urban space and is capable of, of being completely zero emission and a zero emission fridge as well I want to congratulate some of the amazing companies that are involved in putting this thing together. You know, it's been a privilege for Pro Hire and Pro Green to be involved in in technology of this type, and to be able to bring to clients something that is just amazing. And I have to say, it really is amazing. There's no noise. It is well thought out, well propositioned with quality equipment and it would be a shame to take an electric vehicle of this type and then put a diesel fridge unit on it when when something of this quality is available today bear in mind you know the cost of fuel today we know electric's going up we know that um, there's some challenges around that but as we move into the the next few years renewables in this country are going to be hugely important in you know, how we make this work and to be able to you know, to charge this vehicle for you know for, for for a few tens of pounds as opposed to a quick hundreds of pounds in diesel, and your the, ben the benefit of carbon reduction, carbon taxes coming into scale here when you start looking at the future and going into big cities, and, and, and we know that there's some challenges around clean air zones, but clean air zones are coming and coming and coming. Some of the some of the, the benefits of, of driving a truly zero emission clean vehicle is just amazing, and, and I'm I'm thrilled and delighted to be able to involve in, in such a project. Let's see how we get on.
dashboard. We've got some noise on the dashboard, maybe we'll do that is. Um, it means I'm, I'm gonna run out of power. So we've been out for quite some time now and, and these batteries are getting, uh, are getting a little flat. So we're gonna head back to base now and quickly charge up for the, for, for the next time. Back at Lancy Daffin, and, and you know, there's nothing that we could do without the support when it comes to Daffin, Lancy Daffin, Paul Etrus, and his team, and Harvey King. They've just do, they support us every single day on every kind of challenge that we have with, with, with the Daff product, you know, and how we can um, really move forward with the, the quality and ensuring that we're helping our clients when you come to the normal stuff and do with running, running a truck fleet. Of course, we, again, when it comes to electric and all the great things here, the team at Lancashire Daff have been massively accommodating, you know, and, I, and, I, and I've, I can't impress upon them how much time and how much of a nuisance we are when we come here and just interfere with their day-to-day -day work. So again, a big, a big shout out to you guys. You know, as I said before, this is an electric vehicle. You look under a bonnet, I've got the cab up, the bonnet up, or the cab up where you want to take it. You know, this is the way the world's going to look. You know, it's very different than anything you'll have seen, you know, probably in uh, in the many years that you've been looking at trucks and, and diesel engines and so forth and so on. It's just, it's so different and so complicated, but it's the future that we're living in. You know, feeds into the battery packs. The team at Carrier, Scott Dargan and his team, you know, Again, massively instrumental in, 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 in ensuring that we've really developed and designed and, and worked on a vehicle that's really going to to, to, to be the future. But Ben Adams and the Brown team there, you know, putting together you know, equipment like this to, to, to ensure that uh, it comes together really well and comes together really well in, a, in through a pandemic where you can't get equipment. And these vehicles are going to live on, the, on the, at the end of this month and they're all available, all ready to go, all eight of them. You know, battery power, the Landia, everybody's played their part in this and I want to just thank everybody for the time and effort that's been put into developing you know, something like this. You know, Andrew Morley and his team on the sales when it comes to Pro Hire and Pro Green have been instrumental in, in, in keeping this journey, keeping everyone on, on their way to make sure that these things have actually been turned out at the end. You know, and that, I'm, I'm truly grateful. I'm blessed with the team that we've got around us in Pro Hire and Pro, and Pro Green. Um, you know, I hope you've enjoyed the last few minutes in something which is truly wonderful and not just special it's unique and going to be the way forward please don't forget to like and subscribe and, and look at anything we can talk about when it comes to alternative fuels green trucks rental diesels whatever it is contact the pro IT team of course alternative fuels pro green team that's again see you soon guys take care